Now, the Auditor General, Daniel Yadumelevu, has directed all staff of the Ghana Audit Services and other firms auditing on its behalf to ensure that public officers declare their assets and liabilities. A release signed by Assistant Director at the Public Relations Unit, Ama Awachi Busumefi, noted that the Auditor General's directive is in compliance with the provisions of Article 286 of the Constitution and Public Office Holders Declaration of Assets and Disqualification Act 1998 Act 550. These legislations provide that a person who holds a public office shall submit to the Auditor General a written declaration of all properties or assets owned by or liabilities owed directly or indirectly. Such officers are to do so before taking office at the end of every four years and at the end of the officer's term. The statement added that auditors should ensure that anyone who declared has a receipt issued to him or her when the declaration is made. An assistant public relations officer of the Ghana Audit Service, Bernard Asarikondia, says the service will soon begin verifying information provided by public officers. Speaking on News 360, he noted poor addressing system is a challenge to their work. Service, Ghana Education Service, Health Service, Audit Service, Statistical Service. A certain category of these officers, for instance, if you are director of finance, if you are budget officer, if you are procurement officer, you are to declare. And also, it says that if your salary has you are the minimum seal of 4,592 Ghana cities a month, that also, is your gross salary, excluding allowances, you are also to declare. The Auditor General has power to open, and indeed, we do open, in fact, when people declare, mm -hmm. we tell them not to seal. So you bring the, your declaration forms to the office, and the officer responsible will go through with you to be sure that first you have appropriately provided the relevant information mm -hmm. on the form, and then you sign in his or her presence before you seal. The okay. next level to go is to do verification of these declarations. How do you do that? That is where we are going now. And so at the moment, we are even loading all the information that people have pro provided into an electronic data system so that from there, our officers will begin to move over and verify these assets. The challenge we have at the moment is our poor addressing system. And so, for instance, if I have a house at, let's say, um, Huni Valley, I just indicate Huni Valley without providing the specific house number. House number. Even if you do provide the house numbers, how authentic are they? There are houses in Dansoma here in Accra who, who do not even have house numbers. So that is where the challenge is. Notwithstanding, the, the service is putting measures in place to ensure that we can, staff can go deeper. At the moment, we are even developing an electronic declaration platform.